If you follow the news in the Middle East, you'll often hear the word caliphate thrown about, referring to an Islamic state. But what does the word mean? And what exactly is a caliphate? Caliphate is an institution first created in the 7th century after the death of the Prophet Muhammad. The term caliph comes from the Arabic word for successor, steward or deputy, and the caliphate then is an area containing an Islamic steward known as a caliph, a person considered a religious successor to the Islamic Prophet Muhammad, and the leader of the entire Muslim community. The first four caliphs were companions of Muhammad, who assumed control of the emerging Muslim empire in Arabia after the Prophet's death in 1632. They were supreme political and religious leaders who were supposed to rule with the consent of the majority of the Muslim people. But several of the earliest caliphs were assassinated after disputes between rival factions. In fact, three out of the four original caliphs were violently killed, a fact that is often overlooked by the people who yearn for the golden age of Islam. Known as the Rashidun, or rightly guided caliphs, their line ended with Ali, a cousin of the Prophet, whose murder in 661 marked the split between Shia and Sunni Islam. The schism means that the concept of a modern caliphate is deeply divisive, with Sunni Muslims believing a caliph should be elected from among followers of Islam, while followers of Shia Islam can only accept a ruler who is a direct descendant of Muhammad. After Ali's death, the title of caliph passed to the Umayyad dynasty, followed by the Abbasids, Fatimids and then the Ottomans with periods where more than one claimant competed for the title of caliph. The last widely recognized caliphate was that of the Ottoman empires, and since then other, mostly Sunni, Islamist groups have echoed the desire to return to the supposed golden age of early Muslim unity. But scholars say many myths surround the early caliphate. The caliphate of early Islam enjoys an almost mythical status in the Islamic literature and school curriculum in many Muslim countries. The same goes for its related military conquests that allowed Muslim rule to extend far beyond Arabia to include the Middle East, North Africa, large parts of Asia, and Spain. Apparently school literature in many Middle Eastern countries is often filtered to leave out any negative aspect of the caliphate rule, hence producing a glossy image of that institution. Although the era was marked by scientific and cultural prosperity, with Muslims making important contributions to mankind. Many young Muslims grew up reading, studying and hearing tales about the golden age of caliphate rule with a sense that it was the only era of Muslim histories to be proud of and aspire to return to it. The question then is, will there be another legitimate caliphate? Well, I don't know. But one expert said, speaking about modern attempts by groups to set up a caliphate, probably for a decent number of Sunnis, there'll be some kind of nostalgic reaction. But that doesn't necessarily mean they want it to happen again. I don't think that it's going to become a reality, quite simply because most people nowadays tend to be quite attached to the nation state, something that's reflected in simple things like football. So there you have it. If you have anything you would like to add or share, then why not leave us a comment and join in the discussion. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you want more content, please like, share and subscribe to support the channel. If you want another video, why not check out our latest flag video on disputed nations of the Middle East? And all the best. I hope to see you on the next video.